I'm here with Juliana and Bill Rancic. Now tell, how have your lives been impacted by beauty professionals? Oh my gosh, how haven't they? You know, I, uh, being at E! Entertainment now for the past 12 years, I sit in a makeup chair five days a week. And so it's, you know, it's, I, I spend so much time with my hairstylist, my makeup artists, and I realize that, you know, it, beauty and, and getting your hair done and makeup done is not, it's not a vanity thing. It's not about trying to make everyone else think you look fabulous, but it's so that you feel good about yourself when you look in the mirror. And I certain, certainly know a thing or two about that. So for me, um, it's a very important part of my life. And how about you, Bill? Well, you know, I just think overall, if you look good, you feel good, and, and that's important. So certainly, uh, Eli Thomas, the guy who does my hair, has done a great job and kind of evolved my look over the years. When I first met Juliana, I had spiky hair. And, so uh, did a lot of guys. It was the big yeah, thing. It was like 2007. I've come a long way. Let's just say that in the last seven years we've been uh, we've been married. So it's been good. And in terms of on another row, in terms of the beauty business, because it is a business as well, in addition to the artistry. What advice would you give to salons and stylists in terms of how to market themselves or brand themselves in this current media? Well, I mean, I think it's all about standing out, and I think you've got to find creative ways uh, to get your word out to brand yourself to brand your your salon and the world has changed and what worked five years ago doesn't work today so you've got to be very agile and adjust and try new ways to reach new people to get the butts in the seat as they say yeah you have to be willing to to you know go with the flow not just get stuck in what you've been doing forever and actually make change and not be afraid of change also I think another thing too is there's a lot of um, for some women there's still a lot of intimidation when they go to the hair salon they're I don't know, I hear that a lot from women and I think as as less intimidating as you can make the experience and let them know like, you know, let's work step by step. If you don't like something, let me know. Not feeling like I'm gonna do what I wanna do and you're gonna like it. I think that's really important because then the woman will go back to you more and more times because she trusts you and knows that you respect her enough to care about her opinion.